First of all, um, I want to say uh, thank you so much for um, coming here and supporting our poetry. It's been a really fun unit. We're really happy to have you. And also thank you so much to the parents who were able to come in and to uh, read some of their own poetry for us. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to step out of the way because this is all about the kids. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.
boss is quiet, still and silent. His boss smiles. His teeth did it again. Hooray! <laughs> Senior buddies. All night long I was tossing and turning. I could not fall asleep. I could not, would not fall asleep because I will see my senior buddy. All through math, I was super excited. Only three hours left. I had to do it. I found my strong and firm voice. I started talking. My buddy was cheering. Goodbye, senior buddy. <laughs> to share a poem with you called Star Shines Dot to Dot. Sunlight is gone, stars start to shine. If I invite you to camp, star shines dot to dot. Find a stick, draw white and free. Connect your stars to stars, see what you can see. I see a scorpion, I see a rabbit, I see a cherry, I see a trapezoid. I see a buffalo, you, you see a plum, you see a unicorn, you see a shooting star. We see a mushroom, we see a crab, we see a camel, we see a coconut. Here comes the morning, stars begin to fade. Goodbye stars, see you again this evening. Hi, my name is Ray, and I like to share a poem called The Soccer Man. Quick, quick, it was the last minute of The Soccer Man. It was our last chance. We shot the golly bucket. The stadium became still. The coaches sat down. The team's heart melted like butter in summer. Hi, my name is Lee, and I want to share a poem called What is Like an Apple. What is like an apple? A ball is like an apple. A ball is round like an apple. What is like an apple? A tomato is like an apple. A tomato has skin like an apple. What is like an apple? A hamburger is like an apple. A hamburger feels soft like inside like an apple. What is like an apple? A watermelon is like an apple. A watermelon has black seeds like an apple. Um, hello, my name is Quan Mo and I want, want to introduce a pen called Robots Are Real. Robots Are Real! Robots Are Real! <laughs> if you don't believe me, search in the internet. This is the last time. Robots are real. See, there's something like this, and this is a robot. This is the last time. Robots are real! Hi, my name is Patricia, and I would like to share a poem called Summer. Hiding from the July sun, I sprawl under a tree. The sun is a living fire trying to burn me. I try to be cool, but I never could be because the hot summer sun is trying to burn me. Hi, my name's Alina, and I would like to read you a poem called Donuts. Donut, donut, you're so yummy. Donut, donut, you're so round. Donut, donut, you're so tasty. Donut, donut, you're super food. Donut, donut, you're so colorful. Donut, donut, you're super strong. Donut, donut, people like you. 
Pick a me, pick a me, take a me to over the sun and beyond the blue. Hold on, stand, I hope we do, said Echo me, pick a me, take a me to Echo me, pick a me, take a me to never return never return to the world they knew. And nobody knows what happened to there. Echo me, pick a me, take a me to. because all of the children who came up for that last round had memorized them, even if they were looking down to concentrate, and it's somewhat quite long. So um, I wanted to say thank you so much for coming, but I also wanted to say that um, I'm not alone in the classroom, so Ms. T is with me all the time, and also I was gonna ask Ms. T if you could come up, and also Mr. Stevens, I think you know who he is, and also Ms. Lucinda, because they too come in almost every day for a half an hour, 45 minutes, sometimes longer. And they also help the kids with reading and writing and English language. And you saw some of the children who did not speak very much English at the beginning of the year, who speak a lot more. And for sure, I cannot do it alone. So Mr. Stevens, Ms. T, and Ms. Lucinda, can you come up, please? Because I just want you to know that there's a lot of us behind the scenes that I have to get to the And they're very shy and humble. And then um, I also wanted to have the students, if you could 
come up and just stand where you were for um, homework or homework, then you can all take a bow together. Can you come on up? else in the audience who would like to take the microphone and share a poem, the microphone is available. Um, uh, is there any, any volunteers? Feeling shy? It's amazing when you think about what the kids do. They actually wrote poems and they put themselves out there and they have to share what's in their heart and soul. And there's a lot of really interesting stories. Like Emre, I mean Tom, he read a poem about probability and being angry as a volcano because we got a new student. And so this is what happened, is we have these sticks, we call them the cup of fairness, and we talk about probability and math, and so when they get chosen, the boys know they have a little bit of a greater probability, because we have 10 boys and eight girls. But there's Miss T and I too, so it's 10 against 10, right, in the cup? Well, one day a new student comes in, and it's not that he was upset to meet the new student, but he was upset about something. I go, what's wrong, Tom? He's like, it's a girl! They have greater probability now of being chosen. <laughs> so there's a lot of cute stories behind why they wrote some of their poems. So that one, and they have a folder full of others. So I hope you feel comfortable asking. So children, can you uh, maybe invite your parents and take them to the table and get a little food to eat and let's just enjoy. Thank you, it's been a great game.